Everybody, welcome back to video number two for Ravnica Allegiance. I still can't say it. It's Allegiance, not Alliance. I keep confusing it with Alliances, which was a set that came out in like the late 90s. It's Ravnica Allegiance. <clears throat> anyway, so I don't like starting out a draft with a multicolored card. So I think pick one is between, between Precognitive Perception and uh, Theory Duelist. I think Precognitive Perception is quite strong. I mean, Scry 3, Draw 3. It's just, it's gas. Dovin Security, Engineer, Azorius Knight potentially have more upside. I'm not even sure, to be honest. Uh, I still can't quite figure out how fast or slow this format is. But I'm happy first picking a monocolored card, and then we get past immediately a Deputy of Detention, which uh, Numa went off with uh, by copying in one of his drafts, which is pretty sweet, so maybe we can replicate that. But there's really nothing else in here. Biogenic upgrade is nice, but I don't like opening my draft with uh, too many expensive, like five, six mana spells. I found that there's a lot of mana sinks or just big seven, eight mana things you can play. Of course, this is one of the better things, but Deputy of Deten Detention is at a minimum like a Banishing Priest, right? And it could have some incidental upside. So. I am very happy to pick this up. Okay, not really interested in Glass of the Guild Pact, at least not yet. For me to consider that card, I would need to have way more, uh, you know, it would need to be maybe like, I don't know, somewhere in the second pack, I would, I would prioritize it once I had maybe four or five dual creatures coming out of pack one or uh, like, I don't like running, running this unless maybe I have less than, if, if I have less than, like, seven, eight minimum uh, multicolored creatures, <clears throat> I wouldn't play it. And even then, those creatures would need to really, really benefit against my, my opponent's deck for me to consider it. Anyway, 18 seconds, 16 seconds. So, I'm not sure what the pick is here. Maybe we could just take, like, a Screaming Shield or we could Splash Consign to the Pit. It's not a terrible card, and there are Orzhov Guild Gates. So, with the type of deck that we're playing, we don't mind going late. Wow, look at this. I mean, this is just basically like a Mono Rakdos. Mono Rakdos deck, with the exception of, like, Zeal, Judgment, and Troller, and an Orzhov Locket, I guess. Crazy pack, so... What is the best card here for us? Uh, I mean, I could just pass all the all the Rakdos stuff and let my opponents fight over uh, Red Black. I could take something like a Scorch Mark, but I found this card to be really strong. Like this card two in Deal Three, you can blow some, like with the right in the right setup. If your opponent's got three or two cards left in hand, this thing is a bomb. It should not be underestimated. And let me take a print screen. I did. Okay, and um, Dagger Caster is incredible. We might end up Rakdos, and if we do, this is a board wipe combo with the spell that gives your creature depth touch. And the way it works is, while the ability from Dagger Caster is on the stack, you cast the instant speed, uh, target creature gains depth touch until end of turn, and then you wipe your opponent's board draw card. <laughs> So you need five, you need six mana, and you need like red black to do it, but it's not impossible. I haven't seen it done yet, but even without that combo, dagger caster is incredible on its own. It's a it's a, such an effect that like often it just it nails something when it comes in. It nails a random, you know, X1 like the savant or uh, you know, some some spirit, uh, some spirit tokens. Light up the stage is incredible. I think this is one of the best uncommons period in this format. One mana draw two is, it's not far from like Ancestral Recall <laughs> in red. Red really does not have access to super cheap card draw. But in a, in a good, effective Rakdos deck, it's very easy to deal one to your opponent. I mean, there's the Defender that, pings, that deals one to everything. There are cards that can ping when they enter the battlefield or die. Um, 
So I think it's a very good pickup for us. So we could take the ores off Guildgate here. I think it's better than anything else. The four drop slot tends to get a bit congested. But then again, I'm not sure if we need it because we're not playing white. So maybe we just take a Storm Strike, which is great in the Rakdos deck. The Scry one is significant. Uh, or Undercity Scavenger, but we don't really have anything we can sack to it. Undercity Scavenger is actually more of an, of an Orzhov Afterlife theme card. So I guess the pick for us here is a Storm Strike. I don't blame anybody for taking Angelic Exaltation. It's a good card, but I think we're quite far from uh, red, white, and um, Carnal Carnage is just good. Ten Street Dodge is good. I think it's a little bit better than Spear Skewer. I could be wrong, but it's like an O2 doesn't really block effectively, right? And there are some uh, like one power, there's the one power white death touch creature which it can't block effectively. Um, so yeah, Ten Street Dodger is better. For sure. This is a card that should not be in the pack so late. But if I'm continuing to be past solid cards from my archetype, I'm going to keep taking them. So Footlight Fiend trades with Tutus, which is very good. I'll take it. And these cards wheeling is a good sign. Trumpeter is a very important card for Ragdos. Um, no reason yet to take an act of treason. I don't have anything that sacks creatures. Well, I passed that. Yeah, well, I passed that one card that sacks creatures. But let's just take a let's just take a solid two drop. Uh, okay, we got the spear spear back, taking an overnight of sorrows. Scrabbling claws is not for limited. Yeah, bankrupt in blood. Maybe if you have like act of treason and, a, and like the goblin gathering. I don't know. Um, let's just take a Burning Tree Vandal. It's more of a solid card. Okay, another Burning Tree Vandal. Very good. Undercity's Embrace is playable, but I like to start it in the sideboard card. It's great against Simic. It's awful against decks running Goblin Gatherings and other random uh, uh, token generators like uh, Afterlife cards. So, I mean, you could also play it if for some reason you're short on three drops, but I find that you're almost never short on three drops. Whoa, who is this? Oh my god. Six for six, six flying trample board wipe. Yeah, okay, we're playing that. So let's see. Uh, so, <laughs> Devil, Demon, Imp. Footlight Fiend is a devil. Goblin gets killed. Spear Spear is also a goblin. This is a shaman. Uh, Vandal, I think, is an, also a ro uh, like a human rogue. That's a rogue. Okay, so <laughs> uh, Footlight Fiend's the only one that lives. Even, and, and that's not even, I'm not sure if that's something we want because if it dies, it deals one. So there are cases where you kind of want this thing to die. Um, but I love, I love the coin flip effect. That's so much fun. What is this card worth, Rakdos? I don't think it's worth that much. It doesn't seem like a too good of a standard playable card, but let's see. It's still early on in the format. Yeah, it's still early enough to where this could be worth some money. Dev Revels is great to bring back something like a Rakdos or even a Dagger Caster. So I think I'm going to reserve this. Yeah, Tess is not, not for what we're trying to do. I think it's either Dev Revels or maybe even another Rakdos Trumpeter. Maybe we're just supposed to take this. I'm really not sure. Eight creatures. Does this put, does this put a lot of pressure on opponents? <laughs> Maybe I'll get one of these later. I think it's important to have like an early um, spectacle enabler. We don't really have big spectacle payoff cards yet. But hopefully we'll get some. All right, we have that reset Rakdos Showstopper. 62 cents, whopping mythic, not even a second. 40 cents, whatever, which means that it's probably going to just drop to zero because 
people don't really like playing. Uh, I mean, there, there's so much like at six mana you have uh, just better stuff in standard right now, and I think you have the the Demon Whisperer at five or six six fly trample, which with an upside, which is just automatically much better. So here is between drill bit and get the point. Um, I'm a big fan of thought drill, uh, like thought sees. I'm a big fan of drill bit, and I'm not a big fan of expensive removal spells in this format particularly. So I'd rather like mess with an opponent's hand early and disrupt them in a way that makes him makes it difficult for him to block my aggro deck, as opposed to like you know killing is like three three or whatever at five mana. Yeah, the scry one is cool. We're going to take another light up the stage. I'll, I'll play like three or four of these in the deck that has consistent ways of getting damage across. Um, grab the Carnarium. This could be effective in some cases. There's also Scorch Mark. Honestly, I, like this is more of an Ozov card. I'm not sure what good it does for me because it, I, I guess the Trumpeter lives and the Caster lives. But everything else dies. I think we still take it just because it could be there could be some setups where it's a complete blowout. There's some value in having this to having this in your opening hand. Yeah, there's the blade brand. All right, we're gonna take it now with the dagger caster to see if we can combo. Uh, not a big fan of Priest of Forgotten Gods in a Rakdos deck. It's more of a Orzov card. I don't mind having a second consigned to the pit, even though actually no. I shouldn't say that. Don't listen. This is not six mana. The, the thing that takes it over the top is the deal two, which is often enough just for lethal uh, with Rakdos, but it's six mana removal is very expensive. Like I'm, hes I'm hesitant to take five mana instant speed removal with upside in this format. So that should tell you something about, um, about how I evaluate six mana removal. Blade Brand is perfectly fine. Act of Treason, another Under Cities Embrace. Or is off Gilgate in case we want to splash something. Um, yeah, it's just act of treason here. Nine creatures, I'll get enough. Wrecker is more of a, it's a gruel card. I mean, it, there's a hint for you on the card, which kind of implies where it's optimal. Blade, jar, blade juggler, solid. I'd rather have the first one. First blade juggler over the first uh, plus two plus zero spell. I don't remember the name. Plague white's really good. Taking it over bankrupt and blood again. Not excited. And this is more of an Arzov card, not Rakdos. You don't want to kill your creatures in Rakdos unless you have like unless you're building your deck around active treasons like steal a creature attack, sack it for value. It's not really good. So we'll just take a plague white. Super happy that we wield this snap, taking it over Ragdos Locket. Uh, it's a good way to maintain pressure on your opponent. And honestly, like even getting back like a random 10th Street Dodger, if your opponent's at like six or five, it's a clock because it's essentially unlockable. And I'm not even going to talk about getting back Ragdos. Blade Juggler's good. You get a bag, draw another card. Solid, solid little playable. So, I mean, in terms of progress, by now, it's safe to say that we're in the right colors. We're one card away from a deck, and we have a lot more cards to go. We have a, basically we're halfway through the draft. So from here, really, it's about optimization, and Concordia Pegasus. What? How did this? What? You know, sometimes these weird things happen. Like you just cards get randomly assigned to you. I I, I swear to God, like I didn't click on anything right now. Oh. No, never mind. They, uh, for some reason, these guys, these cards moved from my sideboard. Take another spear spewer. Uh, Rafter Demon, maybe. Can't really splash final payment. And we wield the third Rakdos Trumpeter, but probably not playing it because we got plenty of playables already. I'm not really sure how I feel about Rafter Demon in, uh, in Rakdos in general. It's just. You want to, you benefit so much more by playing your cards early. Uh, so yeah, this is what we want. The goblin, I'm going to call it the goblin clown, evil goblin clown from it. 
I should probably keep up the display pane. Look at this. Doesn't this look like the thing from it? It's it should totally say Goblin Clown. It should not say Goblin Shaman. I'm insisting. I'm going to write a letter to uh, MTG to change this. So snap picking it over can sign to the pick. I mean, this is essentially removal on offense, right? So do you want to pay three mana for like a one-one haste plus removal on offense, or wait until you have six mana and then you'll be dead by then? So yeah, we're definitely taking Clamor Shaman. What is this? This is interesting, uh, but not what we're taking. Probably just Grotesque Demise is the pick for us from this pack. Uh, this isn't, but this is, you know, this is an interesting sideboard card. So whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, it deals one damage to that player. Again, it doesn't say one damage to target player or target creature that player controls. It's, it hits you, it hits you, it hits face. So in that regard, there's not much difference between playing this or playing like a two drop, but you can destroy it. You can sack it and destroy an artifact or enchantment, which is significant and deal two to the face. So very good sideboard card against um, like um, Azorius, specifically if it's playing the fake disinformation campaign. I think it's uh, something insight. Uh, the, the three mana enchantment that when it comes into play, you draw a card and gain two. And if you play an instant on your main phase, you could take you could uh, put it back in your hand. So it's it's like half of this. It's much worse than the disinformation campaign because essentially you're uh, you're not making your opponent discard card discard cards. You're just gaining two life instead. So from this pack, this is interesting. So cavalcade of calamity, I think, could be good with. Um, Rakdos Trumpeter, you can attack and then pump it, so it's kind of a combo with it. So I'm very happy trying one of these, uh, even even main deck, potentially. I have enough two drops, maybe just another Vandal, even though I don't think I'll play it. I'm not sure why this is in the format, because they're really, like, the, the cards like this Unlimited make sense if there are lands that you cannot beat. And there were some unbeatable lands back in, like, uh, Ixalan, Flip Lands like uh, blasting cannons, right? Or the, whatever, the, the, the first pose that made vampires. Like you needed ways of dealing with that. And, and that's what these cards are for. In this limited format, the only place where this is like remotely usable is if your opponent is splashing a card that you cannot beat otherwise. You cannot beat it unless you destroy the land that they're using to cast it. And even then, it's not always like, uh, it's not always going to save you because you're doing nothing for a turn. Yeah, you get the scry too, which is, it's nice that they tag that on. And it's better than like, you know, deals to damage the target player. But um, yeah, don't, don't play it. Just don't play it. All right, I'm going to reluctantly take another consign to the pit over a fourth Ragdos Trumpeter. I don't think we need a fourth one. So now there's another Blade Brand which again with dagger caster i think it's worth playing i don't have too many actually i don't think i have any plus one plus one counters right no i don't so it's just going to be another blade brand and i will try to wow another one of these we're going to make a sick deck just super aggro unblockable All right, this is, this is what we're doing. I'm cutting both my six mana removal. Wow, I'm definitely playing this. I'm gonna have like a super low curve deck right now. Just a bunch of light up the stage, clamor shamans, cut one of these, cut carnarium, keep under cities embrace, go test the mines I don't need, drill bit I keep. Uh, blade juggler, let's cut this, this is 26. Wow, so many cuts, so many cuts. Let's, uh, I don't see myself playing Rubble Slinger, even if I'm going up against the deck of Flyers. So I'll just leave the rear, uh, whatever. I'm not playing with this. Yeah. 
check me this is the deck. 60 lands, one six drop that I should be able to cast off light up light up the stage. Thirsting Shade becomes a little bit better with this Cavalcade of Calamity, but three mana to pump it is expensive and we're really not looking to gain life. You, I wanna, if I'm going to sink mana into something, I'm going to sink mana into dealing damage, not into gaining life. If I have like, if I'm trying to build a deck, I want it to be as consistent as possible. Act of Treason, we could play it. I mean, with double Crammer Shaman, Act of Treason is actually very strong. So... Stormstrike is also very good with Ractus Trumpeter because if they double block it, you could really blow them out. Like if they drop with uh, two two twos, give it first strike, and the double, and it's a two for one for one mana. <laughs> All right, look, 12 seconds. Let's think theoretically, if I was gonna really take something, it probably would need this. Wait, wait, wait. I guess I'll take a white in case I'm up against a ton of X ones. Rumbling Ruin, do I have need for a 6466? Six, six, six? No, I'll just take a burn right up. Yeah, I did. Okay, I selected it. Not, maybe I'll play it. Maybe burn right uh, belongs in a deck like this. That's kind of annoying. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Nope. One cut. I mean, Blade Brand and Footlight Fiend is also a combo. You can chum block and then Blade Brand draw a card, ping something for one, kill it. So I do want that. I feel like with like with one, like we top, we essentially top out at four, and this is just, I guess whatever you, you this is whatever you want to call it is just our top end, but. One six drop in a deck like this, I don't think is, is justified playing 17 cards. We do have Burning Tree Vandals, so we could loot away lands we don't need. But again, with double light up the stage and things that can ping early. I want a second spear spewer. So what are we dumping? I think Dead Revels is maybe like with double Clamor Shaman and Active Treason. It's just better. So that's one cut. Burn Bright. Burn Bright could also be good. It's, it's better than that. Uh, God, what was that card? Attacking Crucius of Control get plus two plus zero. I think anybody who played Limited uh, during that cycle I think it was Dominaria, right? At some point got screwed with uh, casting that before attacks and then it just did nothing, which always made you sad. Yeah, Grotas Demise is very good. So we need to make like one cut. Definitely playing Cavalcade of Calamity. I could potentially cut one Spear Spewer only because like, uh, it doesn't work with Blade Brand. Like if you're, if I need to deal, if I need to address a problem, I cannot block and then use Blade Brand. So that means that there will be times when you have Spear Spear on the table, nothing else is going on, and then you have this card in your hand, and it's like does nothing. But then I have one, two, three, only four things that can hit on turn one. I could potentially play like Thirsting Chain. Which again works with Cavalcade. 
It works with all this stuff, like the burning tree, like uh, the active trees in the double climber shaman, the drill bit. Like it's so important to get light up the stage and drill bit going early. So I think I need to play all the one drops I have. Fourteen creatures. Maybe we don't play burn bright, and this is the deck. Yeah, this is good. Let's let's try like this. Burn bright's better if you have if you have more creatures. Unfortunately, we are kind of relying on card draw and uh, hand disruption with drill bit, and these three cards are taking up our creature slots. But one should not underestimate the value of disrupting your opponent's hand for one on turn two. Especially if you're on the play. Yeah. So we need more red, way more red early. So seven, nine, I agree. Unfortunately, we didn't get any Rakdos gates, which makes our mana a little bit worse. But we have such a super low curve that we, we should be able to win. And my goal is to get the Blade Brand Dagger Caster combo going at least once. Uh, Blade Brands can also draw us, help us hit our land drops in a pinch. Like you can basically cycle this for two and uh, draw a card to find the land, which means you're a little more comfortable keeping 16. So let's see how this does. And uh, so I think like one of the most controversial choices I need is to basically not play removal. But in a super low curve, the deck like this, like, okay, let me take a step back. To win a game of Magic, you don't need removal. You need to get your opponent down to zero. And this deck is designed to do that as quickly as possible, like by turn six or whatever, before your opponent can even cast the big stuff that you would need to kill with a six mana removal spell. <laughs> With this deck, it's super important to win the die roll. It didn't happen for us, unfortunately, but this is a good hand. I wish we had some like some more synergies with Active Treason, but uh, like like Sacrifice Outlets. Uh, but I still think it's good enough, given the way that our deck is designed. So like uh, Thin Street. Guy would be good here to shoot uh, whatever. Goblin. Nope. We'll just put Mountain Pass next turn. We can play a Trumpeter. And then uh, Burning Tree Vandal if we can hit a third land. No quench, that's good. So now, uh, is this slide line sure? Okay, <laughs> it still deals one off cavalcade. That's kind of funny. So I think I'm going to play the Shaman now as a 2-2. And next turn, it can attack and make, make it harder to block my Burning Tree Vandal. Do I want to block with this thing, given that it can deal one off Cavalcade? I probably do. I don't have the card that returns creatures from my graveyard, but I don't really need it. Not right now, at least. Okay, Rakdos is a little bit awkward. So I have an incentive to loot to find lands now. 
So what I want to do is I'm going to find a swamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Burning Tree Vandal, probably dumping Cavalcade at this point. So let's let's do this. Let's see if we get countered first. Okay, so we are going to get countered. Sure. Okay. Only good news in all this is that opponent is down to two cards. But now I'm kind of on the defensive, and I think my cloud friend just needs to block until we can get Rakdos down. So now the pl our plan is changing a little bit. Right now our plan is survive until you can play Rakdos and uh, kill hopefully some substantial part of my opponent's board. What is this one that enters you into? And then this is Wizard Beast. I'm thinking if there are any cards that interact with either beasts or wizards or elves. I don't think there are, so it really doesn't matter what we kill. But it's better to kill the bush beast because if he has regenesis, I don't want him taking the frilled dude from the graveyard. It isn't uncommon, but it comes up enough, especially like uh, you know, as a sideboard card. I don't think somebody would sideboard sideboard it against me, given that uh, I'm a very aggro deck. Yikes. Yeah, we can't attack, so we just put a counter on it and pass. And I need to block the Mystic. I am very lucky that my phone is getting flooded. Uh, four spells, six lands, one card in hand. We don't know what it is, but every turn that gets me closer to this bad boy is, is very good. What's this now? You're making like uh, 12, 12 damage, 12 damage, really? All right, I need to chump. I'm not sure how we win. Uh, I guess I can like reason. Um, well, this is awkward, isn't it? I don't even want to show him Cavalcade. Like, we're just probably losing, right? Ugh. All right, let's let's admit defeat this hit. Like, we're, we're so behind on lands. I don't want to show him anything. I don't want to give him information. But I want to try to get some additional information. And what we know is that he's just playing gigantic, big, stupid things. That uh, make it very difficult for us. It doesn't matter who we block because of trample. OK, so we need to. We need to have a little sideboard game plan. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to dump the early stuff that does not work with uh, so we're going to dump yeah we're going to dump the spewer. I think you want to dump one of these burning tree vandals it's just kind of slow. I'm reluctantly putting in both of my top end removal spells because I, I need some ways of dealing with those mana sinks. I'm putting in an Underseas Embrace as well, and I'm cutting what? Let's cut this Ignis. I'm down 11 creatures. So what is this? Am I playing like a control? Uh... <laughs> this doesn't feel very good. Are we cutting one light at the stage? Uh, Ignis lets us steal like the flyer in attack, so maybe it's still okay. I kind of want also the dead rebels in my deck. I think Pizan could be good, but I don't think it's strong enough. I don't think it's strong enough. Uh, 
uh, and cavalcade of calamities coming out. Um, so we're, we're going from more like an all in aggro uh, Rakdos deck to something that's like more mid range with a little more top end. I don't think Rafter Demon is particularly good because he's got the 5 5. And I can make him this card a card, but it doesn't seem like that's going to solve my problem. 12 creatures. I don't really like that. Customize, drill bit, removal, removal. Like, drill bit gets worse if I don't have ways of dealing damage. Mm. Maybe we need to do this. Yeah, 13. All right, I think I'll play another one of these because they're good with the Clamor Shaman. Let's do this. I want more top end. I think 13 creatures is 13 creatures, 17 lines is fine. And um, we have the graveyard. Uh, we have the card that gets creatures back from our graveyard. So that's can kind of count as a creature. Got to send that back. Ooh, this is good. This is really good. So let's keep Swamp. Yeah, we don't need Swamp. At some point we'll need it, so let's put that on top. Make sure we can curve out. And start start bashing. Ah, Tin Street Dodger, that's the name I was looking for. Okay. And then with, with Burning Tree Vandal in our hand, it's okay to kind of keep a land on top because we can... Uh, we can loot one away anyway if we don't need it. Sweet, that's perfect. That is really, really good. So Burning Tree Vandal is going to get us huge value. It's going to get in for his damage. Um, and then I'll, I can do it again next turn with uh, Glamour Shell. So. Look at that, boom. Okay. And Clamor Shaman is just gonna, he's gonna finish the job, especially if he's playing a tapped land, he's in a lot of trouble. So even if he has a counter spell here, he's taking four a turn, and uh, I can just tempo him out. I wanna discard Blood Light King, because I wanna hit my land drop. So let's play Clamor Shaman, see if he counter spells. And then let's dump uh, Footlight Fiend to, to find the land. And, you know, like I said, having a creature in our graveyard is good because of the graveyard recursion card. Uh, this bounce. Ah, sure. Okay. So do you agree? But. Again, with Shaman, I think it's just game over, right? Between Shaman and Undercity's Embrace. Our opponent just had a start that was way too slow. So hopefully we're going to go to game two after this. Sorry, game three. No problem. Sylvan Bush Strider? What is that? Ah, okay. Like I said, three lands just gets us there. I don't need more. 
So he sacks one. Um, I'm going to dump my expensive removal spell. I, again, I'm trying to find land. So um, yes, maybe. I mean, there, there is one reason to dump this in case I draw my uh, my graveyard recursion card. Let's do that. Maybe this is just better removal. I mean, still want to have removal. I put it in my deck for a reason, I guess. All right. So yeah, from here, I mean, at six life, uh, 10th Street Dodger can just finish the job on its own. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Gain two, that's something. That's legit. That is legit. Firebrand. I'm going to try to hit him Swamp off uh, Blade Brand on um, 10th Street Dodger to play uh, Plague White. And actually, no, I could just make it so that the Bush Strider can't block. Never mind. I don't even need to, need to use it. I can keep up uh, Blade Brand in case he tries to cast a fight spell or something. So this guy can't block. And we're going to loot. Yeah, all right. Now I'm going to discard this consign because I'm not sure why I'm attacking with this guy. And my blade brand just to draw a card. Actually, that was, that was a mistake. I should have I should have played my white. Darn! But if I get a if I get if I if I can get to five mana, I can do my blade brand dagger caster combo, and at some point I'll be able to do it. I just need to draw uh, two lands, and it doesn't matter what what whether they're mountains or swamps or whatever. Arrow monkey was okay. All right, all right. So let's get this guy unblockable and try to finish what we started here. No need to attack with the Burning Tree Vandal into Aramunculus. Yeah, I definitely should have played, played White last turn. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. It's not it's not a like a killer mistake or anything like that, but I should just try to pressure my opponent given that he's for life. Okay. Another climber shaman would be good. Would be good. If we can get Clamor Shaman, I think it's pretty much lethal. You're attacking? What? What? What do you think you're doing? Oh, so close. So, I just the battlefield that deals and then target feature again. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So, I don't want to play Dagger Caster now. I'm going to wait until I can board wipe. So that means let's just attack with everything and not loot or rummage. All right, I'm tired of confusing. I'm going to look this up once and for all. Which one's loot? Which one's rummage? It's kind of embarrassing. I should know this. Yeah, rummage is the rummage is the red ability. So. Okay, yeah, rummage is the is the red ability, so I was close.
Does he have to bounce a creature and uh, get a counter? Okay, no problem. He doesn't want to bounce anything. He just wants to give the, He just wants to give that plus one plus one. Ah, uh, and he's bouncing the Dodger. Okay, we can just replay him. I really want to do the Dagger Caster Blade Brand when my opponent dumps his hand. <laughs> that is going to be sweet. I mean, look, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to win without it, but there's no reason to play it right now because he's got three cards in hand. He's got. A bunch of big creatures. He needs to deal with Pin Street Dodger, which is lethal in four turns. So he needs to choose between like developing out his board, which is going to get wiped, or he needs to find a way of dealing with the Dodger, maybe with a fight spell or something. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. If I get a land, I'll just do it now. It's not a land. But is that lethal? I believe it is. So uh, Carnage, opponent, one red mana, three of these. It's Carnage first. And that's lethal. So opponent didn't see the Blade Brand Dagger Caster combo. And before I go to sideboard, let's just look at what he played and see if uh, if there's any way we can improve our sideboard plan. Wayfinder is really weak against our uh, Footlight. Demon Devil, whatever. We don't really have any good way of dealing with Flyers. We should remember he has applied Biomancy. And uh, that Windstorm Drake is a really, really big threat, so we do need removal to kill it, otherwise it, it, you know, Aramonculus be becomes a, a four power card, and it's it's just hard to hard to win. Active treason, I'm not sold on. Another light up the stage. I guess to some extent, light up the stage does the same thing as um, dead revelers or dead dead revels, but dead revels is better with Dactos and a dagger caster in our deck. So, cry the Carnarium, I don't think this is good. Only thing I feel bad about is like not playing this. Plague White is a good, I think I'm gonna put in one Plague, Plague White against one Rakdos Trumpeter, because our opponent does have like a lot of, uh, a couple of x ones and like uh, three, th uh, three toughness creatures that we can play, that we can trade with. Like, the White trades with our Amonculus, which is pretty good. Smelt Ward Ignis. It doesn't feel like Blade Juggler is doing enough. So maybe I just want like uh, another Burning Tree Vandal, which I think can really help me uh, in, in various situations. And they work really well together with Clamor Shaman. So let's do it. Oh no, not at basic lands. Um, let me just double check my... Yeah, I actually think I need to take out one mountain and add a swamp. That's one thing I forgot to do last game. It didn't punish us too bad. But I need to have like a 9-8 count. Yeah, that's perfect. Fingers crossed. Sachi's playing first. And hands looking good. Hands looking great. Double shaman burning tree vandal. I think we're if we can get one more land, we're just gonna win. We're just gonna win. I can already see how this is gonna curve out. Nice. And we're halfway to uh Rakdos. Hmm. No, 
kind of want her to trade. I don't really want to. Well, maybe I shouldn't actually. Let's see what I draw. If I uh, feel mystic, so it keeps that on top. So I need to know. I need to remember he's got a counter spell. All right, I'm gonna try to race with the burning tree down a little. In my hand. All right, we're one land away from casting this. We're going to play it on turn four. Uh, sorry, on turn six. We're going to play around the counter spell. Yeah, we cannot block the gate breaker. But I could try to race with Shaman. Oh, sweet. That's actually really good. Um, let's see if this gets him. Nice. I don't think I want to lose anything. All right, so we know that he's got the, the frilled uh, whatever up, so we're just going to attack. And uh, most likely he trades. I'm not going to loot the land because I want to have a guarantee that I can play Rakdos if he's tapped out. No. Okay. I guess this is the frilled mystic for no value. Or is he considering something else? Okay, good. So we played around it. That's great. And we can even go double glamour shaman next turn if we want and uh, hit for hit for five. That would be pretty sweet. And now we can loot away any, any excess lands if we get it. Shellbringer, fine. The thing is, like, it might kill my creature as well. Which means I want to play this now before I have uh, any more creatures that could potentially die. So let's see. Let's see what happens now. Oh sweet. Okay. So I just I killed this field mystic and my guy lived. Perfect. And then next turn with clamor shaman we can really do some damage. And even if he has bounce, uh, really not good to bounce this because I can just reply it and keep killing stuff. One card in hand. I think we got this. I think we got this. No attacks. Nice. Come on. Come on. You're not going to fake it. I'm blocking. If he's attacking, I'm blocking. I don't believe you. I do not believe you for a second, my friend. Okay, we're going to loot away the land. So let's play Shaman 1.
Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's so, okay, okay. Yeah, so let's give it at least. So it's one. Yeah, let's just get bolted at least. Smash. So, uh, salute first. This guy can block. This guy can block. Let's rummage now that we know what it's called. Uh, bounce ball. What do you got? What do you got? Let me play the bounce spell. For, oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's funny, that's funny. So he can't really block, that doesn't matter. Um, I do want to discard a mountain. Can you draw another mountain? I will play it because if I can find another land, I can play both of the next turn. Okay. That's fine as his last card. My guess is he attacks with both because he can't really block anyway, and he wants to deal five after adapt or six after adapting. But it's going to be really hard for him to get through this card. Um, so the plan now is first I attack with everything. I don't want to loot because all my stuff is playable. But this is actually good here because the real threat are his flyers. So if I can even kill one of them, and I did, uh, that significantly increased the chance that I can win. And actually, so it killed. None, so I, <laughs> so none of my creatures died, and one of my opponent's creatures died. That means I'm uh, four out of five, or sorry, four out of six uh, on flips. Not bad. I'd love to have that win rate also, 66% win rate. That means you pre know about 40% of the time. It's pretty sweet. Fortunately, I'm not quite there yet, at least not in this format, but I'm working towards that. But did I learn any lessons from the previous match about maybe changing up my deck? You know, I still think that this version with Cavalcade of Calamity is good. And that the 17 land version is better only against, uh, you know, top end stuff like what we just played. If you guys enjoy the videos and want to support the channel, please feel free to uh, subscribe and check out some of the, these other channels that I'm recommending. New Mod Channel Fireball, Seems Good Magic, Frank, Frank Lepori. He's been a pro player since... Uh, both of Gatewatch and limited resources as well. I do want to play first. Nice. This is this is good. So let's keep play turn one fiend. By the way, we have virtually like no spectacle in our deck. Uh, even though we have plenty of enablers for it, our deck is our deck wants to win in a different way off uh, just 
really fast starts and uh, by making it difficult for opponents to block. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna play the clown as a as a one one that can swing for four right now on turn three. That's significant. Because with the life gain, that also increases the increases the chances that I can get to six mana and our favorite friend, Rakdos, who's doing a very good job of keeping us alive. Also, I have uh, next turn Burning Tree Vandal along with uh, Sure Strike in case he has a blocker. Or sorry, two blockers, but in this case. He does not have a block. Ah, okay, he does, he does, okay. This is good, so I can, I can loot away an extra land, because I don't need a land now. Uh, so let's do this. Let's add the swamp, make sure we have red. Let's give it haste, and let's, let's tangle. Uh, this thing becomes, it's clean, we can't block. And I do want to discard a card. I guess sure strike's not really good because uh, because my deck uh, is very good at making my creatures unblockable. So I could see situations where it's not very effective, but that's only if I get my Glamour Shaman, one of my two Glamour Shamans. If I don't have it, then uh, I, think it's, I think it's an important deck, uh, important art, sorry. Okay, that's fine. Uh, my opponent's really gonna have a hard time right now. Uh, let's loot away that as well. So let's uh, swing with everything and make it so that 3-3 three, three cannot block. Let's loot again. So he cannot block. And I do want to dump this mountain. Oh, got a swamp. I'm going to sandbag it so that I can loot it again. Uh, interesting. So I want to save my shaman. So I'm going to I'm going to storm strike my shaman. He's more of an he's a more important card. Ooh, that's really good. That is really good. That goes on top. That goes on top, and I'm not playing my swan because I want to loot it again next turn. And our opponent is at eight and seven on my turn, and then four with the deal four. Not bad. Well, now it's now I can't really attack though. Unfortunately, oh, he's got a fight spell too. Maybe now, okay, now I play this one because I want to be able to uh, trade with the shade. Unfortunately, it uh, cannot block. It can't get past Wrecker yet. I need one more line for that. But we can. Carnage them. Let's see what we get. Decisions, decisions. By the way, I, I guarantee you we're going to get something good. We're going to get at least one card. We're not going to get two lands. Um, and even if we do, that might be good. Look at that. We got, all right, Gravel Hide Goblin, which is something that becomes a big threat. And we got a Burning Tree Vandal. And we can pass. And if he attacks, I'm jumping with Floodlight Fiend and dealing one to his face because my goal is just to finish out this game as fast as possible. So if he wants to attack me, by all means, I'm not going to block the Menace, but I will jump the brush strider and deal one maybe you know what 
maybe I don't do it now. Maybe I do. Maybe I do it next turn because if I if he doesn't have a play here, and if I can find my other clamor shaman, then this can actually get me again for damage. But I don't think he's attacking. He's not. It's just a uh, ping. Secure the critic. Sure. And he's targeting my. Yeah, that's actually fine. I mean, using like a three mana spell to kill a small guy like this is good for me. All right, this is good. So, play it. Make it unlockable. And it's a five turn clock while Footlight Fiend is on the board. The, the pain of this is that I cannot activate Shade and get in with Dodger, but I'd rather just get in with Dodger. So, okay, I'm not gonna, he's got Menace, I'm not gonna throw away both creatures, that doesn't seem good. Okay. This is really good. <laughs> this is gonna finish things out for us. I'm pretty sure of that. So, make this unlockable. Should we tackle this now and get him down to four? I guess not. Let's hang out for now. Hello. This takes three mana next turn four, and I have one one expandable mana for something. I guess, so I'm probably gonna steal the menace creature. And he's just dead, right? He needs to, he needs to double block. That's actually good too. So let's think about it. He's got four. He's got four mana. He might have a fight effect, but I'm gonna go for it. So sack. Take the menace creature. Make this unlockable. Swing with everything. Yeah, and for that reason, it was actually better to keep uh, Footlight Fiend alive. So, I mean, if somebody still thinks that it's better to have expensive six mana removal to deal with, like, you know, three twos and three threes. Um, I'm going to respectfully disagree. Uh, yeah, this is funny. Okay. So, Rakdos, kind of like slow Rakdos. Actually, I think maybe uh, Cry of the Cornerium could be quite good. Instead of like drill bits. And Burning Tree Vandal seems like it could do some work against them. I'm going to be on the draw, so I don't need to go to 16, uh, 17 lands. Thirsting Shade, I think, did well. But it is, mana, it is very mana intensive. Dead Revelers. Under City's Embrace seems like it just kind of, it's going to be like a one for one. It doesn't, unlikely to give me an advantage. We didn't see anything huge. Maybe we could play another Spear Spewer, but I think in this configuration, we're close to optimum. So let's submit and see what we can do. All right, sweet. So we have our board white combo and we have some uh, early removal. In an emergency, uh, whatever this thing goes one, can kill something, play grotesque demise. So this is a keep for sure. Multi six. Did he put it on top? Oops. Show chat. Look. Show game log. Bottom it. Okay, so he didn't find what he's looking for. A little awkward. 
but that's fine. There he is. Sweet. Uh, so I can grotesque demise while the riot ability is on the stack. Uh, in response. So let's pass. I think I'm happy seeing this card because, whoa, really? That is a slow start, my friend. And we will be asking you to discard some of those cards of yours. So neither one of us is doing much, but I'm working my way up to board wipe. And uh, Chalicade's a little awkward, to be honest. Uh, if I get a looter, I might just loot it away to get to a land faster. Yeah, sure, sure. So Shaman isn't doing much. So two cards. He might pump this thing and we'll just uh, go test demise while the pump abilities on the stack. Or we'll kill, yeah, that's what we need to grow test demise. So let's let that resolve. Probably gonna give it haste. And let's just get rid of this right now. This is going to be a 2 2 and Storm Strike. Hopefully, he's going to help us find our fifth and sixth land. I'm getting close to where I'm just going to cycle Blade Brand to find a land. So, this is going to be four, it means I cannot effectively block it. All right, I'll take it. I'm gonna storm strike. Yeah, I need to storm strike for the scry. Bottom that and pass. I'm I'm gonna lose if I can't find the land. So I don't really have a choice in this matter. Uh, I'm gonna use up one of the blade brands right now to block. He may sack the ward to steal my shaman to get in for a ton. Yeah, this, do these riot abilities, do they stack? They do, they do. Double riot. Menace, yeah. So like seven and then I can... Um, yeah, let's blade brand, blade brand in response. All right, so that trades off, and he's not attacking with the gravel hide. Okay. Act of treason. Ah. All right, well, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards and four, four lands. We got off to a good start. But I think it's too little too late right now. I'm not sure how I can come back. <sighs> He's got zero cards. <sighs> Sucks. If I had one more land, I could wipe his board. What I could do is... The, on his begin combat, combat phase, I can sack this, steal a creature, one of the menace guys, 
and then I can block. <laughs> but you can actually sack and steal it in return, and then I steal that spell die. So maybe. <sighs> How do I survive? My only, my only chance to survive is to hope that my opponent makes a mistake and to let me sack this, to, to steal the menace guy. And he needs to... Hmm. Alternatively, I can play... No, nah, I'm not... I can't play... I can't cycle Blade Brand because that's my one commission. Act of Treason is not an instant. Cavalcade, it's like I don't even want to I don't even want to play it because it's a check man efficiency, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna pass and then oh wait, no, the sack effect is instant speed. So I don't think he can sack. Hmm. All right. I'm pretty sure that like my, my opponent has this game locked down. He's either going to draw a creature, give it haste, kill me. Uh, but what he really needs to do is sack this in response just to prevent me from getting it. But sometimes people make mistakes and uh, Oh, it's anytime you can cast a sorcery, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Then I guess my only way of winning was to cycle Blade Brand to draw like a, a one drop that can that can block. But he can sack this, get a block out of the way anyway, and we just need to concede. This is too slow. These are good, actually. The whites. I think we bring in the whites. We take out maybe one trumpeter and an act of treason. And then we take out this uh, cavalcade. And we can put in like what? <laughs> All right, I'll play a drill bit. I'll play a drill bit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crab the carnery. Nice. So that could that could get him. That could really, really get him. Yeah, he's got a lot of like one and two toughness creatures, so this should be good. And if we can draw a land, uh, sorry, a swamp. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play the white. I'm just gonna let him dump his hand. I'm gonna work my way up to. I'm gonna go, cry, and then carnage. Sure. I can even drill bit him. I'd rather just drill bit. Disrupt his hand. Let him play out the early stuff. He's gonna be confused by why about why I'm not taking. Uh, yeah, oh, this is this is over. This is over. I'm calling it. So the plan is go carnage into cry, kill everything that we saw in his hand. Yeah, he's gonna loot. He might loot away some of these lands. But we're gonna get a three for one next turn. And we're gonna make him we're making him dump. 
the cards that he's drawing anyway. So he's down to two. He's probably going to keep the creature. And we're going to go to like 12, maybe 10, but five the Carnarium is going gonna, is gonna to be a great equalizer. And then I can start dumping my hand. Sure. So two rummages is kind of like draw a card. Wow. This card down, huh? Uh, okay, that wasn't planned. That's not what you were supposed to play. No, 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 man. All right, I still need to do this. And unfortunately, I can't light up anything, but I can play this burning tree vandal and Actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go, hmm. So Dagger Caster can kill the Gravel Hide, but but, but, but. the counter so we can trade with uh, the runner. I might take four and go to five, but if, if I do that, then I can just dagger caster this thing. It'll die. And uh, potentially I can even kill another one toughness creature if he plays it. The best option, the best like outcome for me is given that Inescapable Blaze is not in the format, I actually wanted him to pump the mana. He didn't do that, but and he's not playing. Uh, it's unfortunate, but actually this is okay. This is okay. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let's go one, two, three, four. Let's kill the uh, Gravel Hide. And then I can trade with the Bush Strider. To be honest, uh, I should have thought about this before, but if I'm playing Cry, I kind of want the Dead Revelers or Dead Revel. Yeah, that's not too concerning. No blocks, interesting. Well then, I do want to attack. I'll use Sure Strike. If he blocks, if he doesn't, I'm gonna light up the stage and hopefully maybe play a land. Mm -hmm. So we can play both. Let's do that. I guess maybe we just play Clamor Shaman as a, uh, as a two, two, and then keep up Storm Strike. I kind of like that better. Because th that way I can scry, and even if he plays a creature and, and makes it bigger, as long as it's like not a four toughness creature, I can I can still kill it and scry. And I will play Thirsting Shield next turn, whatever. Yep, perfect. I'm going to kill the Ignis because that is a higher risk card for me. It can make my uh, next turn very difficult. So I need to Storm Strike. Scry. We don't have need for land, so that goes to the bottom. I'm going to lose Thirsting Shade, unfortunately. Or no, I can still cast it last turn, next turn, let me see. Hopefully, he has nothing else here. All right, nice. Nice. All right. Um, is it greedy to attack? I don't think so. 
I don't think it's too weak to attack. Because uh, we're gonna play a shade. We are going to play a dodger, and then we're gonna keep up one pump ability on the shade, just to gain life, uh, so that we don't die. This also lets us keep up blade brand. And I like I like having three blockers here because even if he plays something big, I can probably set up some double blocks and still come out okay. So my goal here is to increase my life total as by as much as possible. And going back up to six here and treating a one drop for a three drop and gaining to life is pretty good. This kind of lets me uh, lets me feel a little a little safer, and I can actually attack with everything because I can play two blockers. And also pump uh, trumpeter next turn. And I mean, my board's just too, too much, I think. There's, there are no cards I can think of like in the common uncommon slot that can really uh, make, make some problems for us. Even if he's got like a, okay, well that's one of the last cards. What do you got? Sure. All right, this isn't the one that pinks for one, so that's good. Now I'm attacking for lethal next turn, which means he has to block something, and then, um, ooh, that's also good. So let's, do I even need to make this unblockable? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he needs to block something other than 10th Street Dodger. And, I think we're good. He has to block. Otherwise, this is lethal. So attack with everything. And then, oh, never mind. It's just lethal because I have the clown. I have the clown. Come on. Huh? Oh, he's got the, he wants to make a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Then we're going to blade brand it because I don't want to die next turn. Well, not exactly. We're going to blade brand our creature and then uh, that's going to die. Sure. So let's blade brand our clown. We draw a card. Not exactly what we wanted. Can I pump? I cannot. So that's fine. Getting it like removing a land is also not insignificant here. And yeah, I don't see myself really dying. Unlikely that that's going to happen, and I'll keep one card in hand just to kind of scare him. Pass and concession, concession, maybe. Did we get there? Did we do it? Yes, maybe. No. You know, having a land dies like it's a legit price to pay because, who knows? Maybe he could have. Uh, Somehow played like removal, smashed, dealt some, but still, I mean, from six, it's very hard to come back. Like one of the best things I did this game is, uh, actually it wasn't even my initiative. My opponent offered the trade for the Bush Strider versus my Shade and allowed me to gain life, which really now puts me in a position where I could aggressively attack without having to worry about lethal on, on uh, crackback. And, uh, it really puts us back to the wall, like, how do you come back from this if you're my opponent? 
you can't, I mean, I have an unblockable, I have a menace, and I have something that pings when it dies. So if you cannot kill me now, and if you cannot remove like two creatures, like the menace, like he needs to, he needs to kill my, somehow with one play, kill my menace. Uh, I guess, no, never mind. I was gonna say, if he could like make a, make a land, attack and then somehow pump it he could win but then i have a blocker so there's i don't think there's any way he can win i can't think of anything any way that he can spend five mana like let's say he's got the let's say he's got the pump spell like it's plus two plus two it's one short of lethal two short of lethal sorry and i still mm, yeah that's not good enough that's just not good enough So let's let's work out the math. Uh, three. Am I missing something? No, it's just he's lethal. This is dead. He's dead. <laughs> We've got to double block this, otherwise he's dead. And yeah, come on. I didn't even need to uh, make Street Dodger unblockable. Okay, overthinking it a little bit, but you know what? I think it's it's better to overthink and win than to underthink and lose. So very close to getting my first trophy. I still like the configuration of the deck as is. Cavalcade of Calamity, Ignis, Act of Treason. Sixteen lands with, with looters to make sure that we can get to six to play our uh, six six flyer. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. We got a two drop. Act of Treason is a bit awkward, but let's see what we can do. My, my opponent uh, offered to split. I uh, politely declined, and uh, of course, by, by karmic law, I have to lose now. I think uh, the, the universe is supposed to reward, uh, reward uh, collaboration and uh, punish greed. So I'm going to have a disclaimer right now that if I lose this, it's uh, because I did not agree to my opponent's kind offer to split. Ooh, mirror match. Interesting. That's a, that's a good one. I mean, I do have Dagger Caster and Blade Brand, but against Rakdos, most likely I'll find chip things to just kill on turn four anyway. Ah, sorry, never mind. He's splashing for something. Might be splashing for green or... Hmm, okay. I don't mind killing that and drawing a card. Uh, I think let's see if uh, he can block because of menace, right? So, all right, let's race. I'm attacking, and I'm gonna play the burning tree vandal as a three-two. Uh, let's get a counter. Okay, okay, so that makes active, active Treason better. It makes Dagger Caster much worse. There's my, there's my other land. Yeah, this definitely makes Active Treason better. So I guess I can cycle one of these Blade Brands and, and what? That doesn't really do much. I'm just gonna attack. You know what? I'm gonna attack with. I'm gonna attack with just the trumpeter, and I'm gonna pump. Uh, 
I could have dumped one of the blade brands to get to six mana faster for my board wipe combo. Wow, he's just <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we make him discard. All right, let's attack first. Now I'm all right. Now I'm definitely gonna dump one blade brand. So it's rummage, dumb blade brand. Uh, not exactly what we want, but I guess it's okay. Well, what I really want for Christmas is a land. Okay, finally trades. Sure. Now let's carnage and make him discard half his hand. Burnbright and smelt ward ignis. Okay. Okay. So we're definitely, uh, oh man. All right, it's, yeah, it's definitely active treason time. Can I go, I guess, fortunately I can't go active treason and cavalcade, but I'm gonna smash here for a lot, put him in a position where he can't attack and then pull off my bl uh, blade brand dagger combo. So let's steal this thing. Let's smash. And if I get one more land, I can kill everything. Sure. I don't think he wants to attack, though. I really don't. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Is it happening? Land? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're killing me. Killing, 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 killing me. Absolutely killing me. I need, I need to get a land, come on. I, I, gotta, I gotta make this happen. I gotta make this happen. I, just, I have to make this happen. I can't, I can't lose right now. I'm a little bit annoyed right now. I'm not gonna lie. I need to, I'm, I'm not gonna die. I can chump and stuff, but a little bit annoyed, a little bit annoyed because I really was supposed to hit a land to pull off my, my beautiful, glorious combo and it didn't happen. And that is all because, why? Because I refuse to split. <laughs> if I was my opponent, I would troll me and be like, hey, you know, you wanna split now? <laughs> I would, I would still politely refuse because I believe in draws and I think we can get something. So I guess we have to be conscious of the fact that this could be pumped and this is representing eight damage of tra eight points of trample. Uh, no need to chump. I can take eight. Why? Because I'm just going to wipe the board and get in there for three. Come on. Land. Any land. Any land. What are my odds? Let's see. Uh, five is 30, 50, 50, 50 is a coin flip. We're gambling right now. This is, this is just straight up gambling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Play your whatever. Play your big stupid doofus. Sure. Make it big and scary. Draw a card. I don't care. Land, 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 land. Come on, 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 come on. No! <laughs> come on! What the? Ah, oh, so frustrating. So freaking frustrating. Do I have one more turn? Can I just, do I just chump? All right. Let's play this. Let's play the cavalcade. And I'm going to need to start chumping because this is kind of, this is, this is just sad. This is sad. 
with eight, so this gets me down to two. Probably gonna need to chump like either a Rumble Belt or a Mammoth. And I might just be dead off Glamour Shaman because, yeah, I think I'm just dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's so, 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 so disappointing. So close. So, so close. All right, whatever. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got one more chance. He has, I don't think he sees that he has lethal. Especially if he's got another play or like a flight card or something. Oh, maybe he doesn't have lethal. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. No, I should be dead. Yeah, one blocker. Let's make sure he attacks with everything first and then. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Good job. Good job. Cry of the Cranarium is not good. This is actually good instead of like one light up the stage. Man, what a disappointment. What a disappointment. I hate, I absolutely despise losing like that. There's like, there's no worse feeling in the world. Of course I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's just yuck. It's absolute yuck. No other word for it. So do I dump one snow for Ignis because there aren't really good targets for this? Actually, no, I shouldn't say that. The Clamor uh, Clown is a good target. All right, I'm committed. I'm committed. We're going to win. Here we go. Here we go. Well, we do have Rakdos and uh, four lands right now, so that's kind of cool. And uh, we've been uh, performing well on coin flips so far. <laughs> uh, no attacks, so I will just play Shredder and pass. I guess all right, I have a free roll. I have a free roll attack. I can represent the first strike card. Maybe he takes it. No, he doesn't. He doesn't fall for it. Our OP is too smart. Too smart for that nonsense. Okay. I can act of treason and deal five. No sense in playing dagger caster just for mana to, you know, to be mana efficient. I can either act of treason. Or I can pump this and he may double block and then I can kill this and sink my mana. This is so good. So let's just uh, active treason now and attack with everything. Sorry. Uh, so this is basically ideal for. No attacks. I don't want to use Grotesque Demise until after I cast Rakdos. So the plan is just attack with this and Down down to 13 and work to work up towards Ragdos. The Guardian Project, it, it's a good card, but my deck is designed in a way where I actually want him to do nothing for a turn. 
because card draw is not going to save him if he's taking a ton of damage. And we can even we can grow test demise that, and it's not it's it's gonna it's not gonna be a problem. All right, so this is where I'm gonna play. No, I don't have six mana. Oh, I don't have six mana. Why don't I have six mana? Why sack Ignis now and get in with the spider? Doesn't seem very good. All right, let's just keep up Grotesque Demise against like a fight spell. We're not gonna attack, we're gonna, we're gonna hang back. We're gonna get him with Rakdos here and potentially we can two for one him if he wants to fight this turn. I don't think he will. I think his deck is probably designed to have a gazillion creatures. Uh, okay, or not. Hopefully he does not have another pump spell, which would be unfortunate. No, come on, Mick, come on, oh, come on. Ah, so he just fights. So he fights and then I exile? Okay, actually that's fine. That's fine, that's, two, that's a two for two. I'm happy with that. And then he does, and then he wasted his turn. Beautiful. Attack, sure. We're gonna dump. We're gonna dump the shaman. I, I need to find. I need to end this nonsense with missing land drops. Uh, I need to get to six. I guess I'm a little bit regretting playing sixteen lands, but you know what? It got us to the finals, and I think as long as I can get my Rakdos down, we should be good because it's a two-turn clock, and he's not attacking. There it is. All right. So now. Um, And now I don't really, I don't even want to play Rakdos because, I mean, I'm going to play him anyway, right? And I have Dagger Caster as a backup with my two um, board wipes. So let's just do it. I guess, I mean, should I just attack anyway? One of these things dies. No, let's, whatever, let's just play this and cross our fingers. Let's gamble a little bit. Okay, that's good. Basically, like two mic. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I didn't want to click yes. No, freak. That's, you know, you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes mistakes are made. Okay, good. We we got away, you know, we got away with playing uh playing bad there, but it's okay. So question. How can we how can we get an advantage? There is a there is like a niche argument to bring in Raptor Demon because if he's playing a bunch of enchantments. There's more cards from to this card, but on the whole, this isn't good. And it's not gonna trade with the five toughness uh, riot creature. I'm gonna be on the play. So does that mean I need to consider like a significant 
change to my deck. All right, okay. I, think, I think we need to bring in these consigns to the pit. I think we need to dump Spear Spewer. I need to add another. Um, All right, let, let me fix let me fix my cards for winter cities and braces good drill bit drill bit drill bit drill bit maybe you take out active treason shoulder great band grotesque and lies hmm the cavalcade may not be good enough against them and now I need to take out one more card. Tough pick. It's it's tough to figure out what to what to remove. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna dump one consign. I think it's fine to just have one, and then let's look at my color. Sort by color. So 50, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. So one mountain out. And like this. Yeah. All right, this is it. <laughs> For the win. All right, I'm definitely not spoiling this video in the description. Let's keep. I'm going to play the shaman as a one one. Ah, uh, no, I shouldn't do it. No, I can't do that. That's okay. Yeah, because uh, the foot, he could like jump the footlights and then deal one to it. It's fine. I still, it, honestly, it doesn't matter which one I get down because uh, both like both of my three drops have riot, so it doesn't matter. I guess I'm not even sure which card's more important right now. Probably still the shaman's more important. I guess what our opponent's trying to do. Enchantment, sure. All right, this is perfect. So uh, let's go Burning Tree Vandal. Give it haste. Attack with everything. The 1-1 one -one can't block. And let's uh, Rummage Mountain. And yes. Okay, so that's half of my combo. <laughs> now we just need to find one more land and our little uh, four drop friend. And then uh, no, no guardian projects in the world will help him, help him come back from this. <laughs> So that's acceptable. What else you got? Uh, 
there, we can we can bleed brand that. Drill bit. So let's get in just with the trumpeter. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, Sure Strike and Blade Brand. That's going to draw me a card and kill both of his creatures. So, okay. And then let's give this that touch. Let's give this first strike, scry one. Mountain we do not need. It's not on that. And the damage needs to be distributed one to the frenzy dude and one to uh, the fiend. I do lose my, my burning tree vandal, but I think it's still decent value. I can't draw that right. Yeah. So let's play a mountain and our other trumpeter. Ooh, we have the dagger caster. And we need to find our other uh, blade brand at some point. Or we could just kill the Ignis. Three, five, okay. Okay, okay. So what we're doing is we're gonna kill the Ignis, leaving up one black. We're gonna attack with both and we're gonna disrupt my opponent's hand with drill bit. Let's see what you got. Savage Smash and another Ignis. Um, so, yeah, so uh, he's not gonna draw a card off Smellboard Ignis because there's one in his graveyard, which means that we take the Savage Smash. And now, we have a legitimate, like, I, I want to see him crack his locket right now. That's what I want to see him do. And play as, a, he could play the Ignis. That's fine. Sure. Shaman is one of the best draws. Um, let's see what else. Obviously, Ragdos is good, even though even though we can't play him yet. No attacks. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack with both of these and pump one of them. He needs to double block one. I'm gonna kill the Ignis. I'm fine trading. Because my, my main goal is just getting damage to him. That's, and that's my objective right now. So let's spawn this. And he's down to eight. And let's pass. So we need our big boy attacking. That's that's kind of risky, isn't it? Um, that's a good draw. I can get him down to four here. 
All right, I'm going to do that. So, um, Rotas Demise. Learning Tree Vandal, because I have an active treason somewhere in there as well. So let's give it haste and smash. Fine. We're still we're still drawing to like our outs. We're drawing to my um, uh, even like the the ten street guys. Fine, are you trying to? That seems like a mistake. Why would you do that? If you're on Naka. not quite. But it keeps the pressure up, so that's fine. I wish my opponent would like just draw some lands maybe and stop drawing creatures so I can actually maybe win. I'm playing stuff, stop. Okay. Uh, pass. I mean, I just, I just need the demon. I just need the demon or an act of treason. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. So act of treason, this big dude. All right, let's, let's think about this. I think, I think we got it. I think we got it. So we act of, we act of treason, the big dude, and then the mammoth spider cannot block. And, the, and then we loot. Seems good. All right, so let's get this this dude. Um, okay, so it's only an enter the battlefield ability. Let's steal it. Attack with everything. Uh, spider cannot block. And let's loot. Okay, that's actually good <laughs> because uh, every point of damage counts. Every single point of damage counts right now. Actually, no, he's just dead. What am I talking about? He's dead. Woo All right, so uh, a, bit, a bit stressful um, because I'm, just, I'm not used to the format. I'm really not used to the format. And uh, I'm happy with the first trophy. I hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you next time.